Hey guys, it's Alasia, and today we are going to be talking about my unpopular opinions about The Vampire Diaries. Yes, again. For some reason, my video that I made over a year ago just reached 100,000 views last month, so I guess people still care about it. I just wanted to give an update on my new opinions because I don't agree with a lot that I said in that video. I loved Klaus and Caroline. I ship. Just a disclaimer, I'm not going to be going over the exact same things in my past video. I'm just going to go over the things that I don't agree with anymore. So if you want the full nitty gritty, go watch the last one. The first thing we're gonna be talking about is characters. And the first one on that list, Elena. I still think Elena is very annoying. But to clarify, I don't hate Elena. I think I started to dislike her when she started falling in love with Stefan. And I noticed that a lot of her friends felt this way too, because yes, they always wanted to save her and be there for her. But when their humanity was off, they did not give a damn about Elena. And that says a lot. I feel like the vampires turning off their humanity is the equivalent to like us getting drunk and just failing all of our fucking emotions and telling the truth. Elena was very deceitful and shady altogether. And in my opinion, she only got worse throughout the show. She was so self-centered and it really irritated me how everyone held her on a pedestal. And I get it, we're all main characters in our own stories, but I feel like Elena didn't really take other people's feelings into account. She would do stuff behind their backs. And then when everything worked out, everyone forgave her. The deal is off. I'm renegotiating. You Caroline and Bonnie should have been cut her off. She used to shit on others for trying to kill her or shit on her friend's love interest for being murderers, but always forgave her love interest for being murderous lunatics. In my opinion, Elena was manipulative and fake as fuck. I think she'd be a more likable character like Catherine if she just didn't try to always be the good girl. Now it's my turn to brag. Cause I bet nobody at your pool parties could do this. <laughs> Next character we're gonna be talking about is my homegirl, Bonnie. Bonnie is still that girl. I don't care. She deserved everything. They couldn't even let my homegirl have one strong, meaningful relationship. Something always had to be wrong. Bonnie should have cut Elena off as soon as her and Stefan pressured her to open the tomb for Damon. Everything went to shit. Bonnie's grandma could have been alive if she just moved. She could have practiced magic without vampires using and threatening her life. I feel like Bonnie's the only character who suffered the most. When I said that in the last video, a lot of you guys were like, Elena suffered too. Yes, Elena did suffer, but at least she got her brother back. At least she had two meaningful relationships. She wasn't constantly being used. Bonnie has zero family. She had zero successful relationships. Bonnie's mom, dad, and grandma were killed at the hands of vampires. I feel like nobody cared for Bonnie the way they tried to make it seem. She always had to put her feelings aside and sacrifice her happiness to save her friends. Yes, I'm a Bonnie stan. The show would be nothing without her. In the last video, I talked about Nina and Kat as actresses. And I just want to say, I don't think Nina is a bad actress. I just dislike her character so much that her crying scenes don't mean as much to me as when Bonnie is crying. Next character we're gonna talk about is Matt. Ooh, this segment is a real unpopular opinion, but I don't think Matt was actually that bad. His sister was murdered, absent mom, and he was working as a teen to stay afloat. I was very unempathetic to that, but when I put myself in that character's shoes, I couldn't even imagine not having anyone on my side and working my ass off to fucking pay off a house at like 17. And now my friends barely talk to me because they're dealing with supernatural shit. I'd be mad. The only time they really hit him up was when they wanted him to do something. I think a lot of people don't like his character because Matt doesn't add much to the story line and he's not very interesting to watch not to mention a lot of people don't like the actor that plays <laughs> matt we gotta separate the artist from the art but looking back matt had every right to be mad and protective if my homegirl started dating a 100 year old murderer whose brother murdered my sister and threatens to kill me all the time <laughs> I'd be fucking pissed. Matt was always willing to put his beliefs aside to help Elena, and I feel like that should be recognized. I still don't like him, but I'm also 
not a Matt hater anymore. In my opinion, the only friend that wasn't used in the whole series was Caroline. Everyone valued her character. Next character I'm gonna be talking about is Catherine. I still feel the same way about her character as well. I think she was so much fun to watch. I do wish that she had more character development, especially leading up to her death because her taking over Elena's body was so stupid. Of course it worked. I'm Catherine Pierce. She could have redeemed herself and then died peacefully. And I feel like that would be a much better plot line than her taking over Elena's body. But it was funny to see how no one really noticed for a while that Elena wasn't Elena. It just goes to show how much her friends actually pay attention. Even though I do like Catherine's character, I don't think she was the mastermind that the writers try to make her out to be. She was just smart. She covered her tracks and studied her target. Bennett Witch. Did I do good? I used to feel kind of bad for Catherine because everyone used her, but looking back, she used everyone too. It's just sad that in the end, she still didn't really have empathy for others. But overall, her storyline was very well thought out and Catherine deserved better from the writers, but not the characters themselves. Last characters we're gonna be talking about is the Salvatore brothers. I can't stand either of them. They really tried to push Stefan as this feel good, go lucky guy. I hate how the only time he wanted to save someone was because Elena asked him to or because Elena was involved. I do think he controlled his anger a lot better than Damon, but he is not a saint. Some of his reactions and feelings were very valid though because Elena did fuck him over by dating his brother. So I'd act out too if that happened to me. And for Damon, he was a headache. That man needed therapy, not a relationship. I hate how reactive he was. He never sat down and thought, maybe the world doesn't revolve around me. The worst thing about his character was how every time he thought he was getting better, his feelings got hurt and he killed someone. And since he's Damon, the protagonist always forgave him. And you could tell he feels bad about the things that he does, but he suppresses those emotions and nothing changes. The only person that kept Damon in line was Bonnie. I'm sorry, you were saying? She always held him accountable and she never made empty threats. Because the point, I mean, what if he... I think it was a good thing that they got trapped in the prison world because I feel like Damon started to love Bonnie as much as the audience loved Bonnie. Dear Bonnie, you're gonna make me face a future without Elena and you're gonna help make me the best man that I can possibly be. Their friendship was so beautiful and it really changed Damon for the better. I know a lot of people wished that they had like started a romance, but I'm actually really happy that the writers kept it platonic because not every sweet relationship needs to be romantic. Speaking of relationships, let's talk about them. I hate every relationship on this show. They're either rushed, toxic, or flat out unnecessary. The first relationship we're gonna be talking about is Elena and Damon. In the last video, I was a shipper, but after reading a lot of comments, I do agree that they were toxic as well. I think Elena was actually terrible for Damon. He was obsessed with her and in the most dangerous way. Because being around you drives me nuts and not being around you drives me nuts. Their relationship was like a push and a pull. I also don't like how Elena forgave him after everything he's done. Damon killed Jeremy, not once, but twice. Just because Elena rejected him. Stefan, it's always gonna be Stefan. And Stefan. Both times. He killed her uncle, her best friend's mom, and he S-A'd Caroline when she was underage. I remember how you manipulated me. You pushed me around, abused me. Let's not forget how Damon literally fucked Elena's mom. That's insane. I'm not dating a guy that has been intimate with my mother. But all that was forgotten because he's Damon. He's just a baby. <laughs> but in all seriousness, that relationship was weird and I hate the age gap. 100 plus year old vampires lurking around high schools is weird as fuck. They should have gone after at least adult women because I know it's hard to find people their age. <laughs> Next relationship we're gonna be talking about is Stefren. They were terrible and I'm very happy that they didn't end up together. Just like Damon was obsessed with Elena, Catherine was obsessed with Stefan. Stefan really had no say in their relationship because he was compelled the whole time. I contradicted myself in the last video by calling out Damon for S.A. and Caroline, but I let Catherine slide and we're not doing that in this video. She was a predator and Stefan did not deserve that. Not only was he compelled to love someone, 
but he was turned into a vampire against his will and of course he didn't have to complete the transition but when your survival instincts kick in there's no telling what you would do i ridiculed stefan for his hatred towards Catherine, but all of his feelings are extremely valid and i wish he never slept with her during her dying days please one night of hot sex with her and you're brainwashed what what Oh my. Next relationship we're going to be talking about is Bonnie and Enzo. As much as I hate to say it, we didn't see any buildup of their relationship at all. All we saw was the end product. Their relationship felt like a here, damn. It was a pity storyline and they deserved better. I think I only liked them together because I just loved seeing Bonnie happy. And it was sad how even their pity relationship was ripped to shreds by a Salvatore. I do wish Bonnie and Jeremy stayed together though. They were so cute and they had so much chemistry. I loved watching them on screen together. No toxicity. We watched a buildup of their relationship. Ton. I'm starving. Do you guys have any food? This is a date. No, it's it's not like a date date. It's more of a, hey, I kissed you and I thought you liked it. Hang thing. Oh, come on. Elena's nowhere in sight. And it wasn't controlling, which I love. But of course, since the producers and the writers hated Cat Graham, Jeremy cheated on her with a ghost. A fucking ghost. That was so unnecessary. If Jeremy stayed loyal, they'd be my end game. And last relationship we're gonna be talking about is Claroline. If you guys have watched the originals, I'm a firm believer in Klaus and Cammy. I'm sorry, sister, but I feel like Klaus just had a crush on Caroline. But with Cammy, he loved her. Klaus was a terrible character and just like Damon most was forgiven by Caroline because he did a few sweet things stand up I mainly don't like them because of the age gap and Klaus's character I'm Klaus's number one hater it was also really weird for Caroline to sleep with Klaus when he literally murdered her best friend's aunt he's over a thousand years old there's no excuse for his behavior his siblings were always right behind him and on top of that he murdered his dad which caused him the most pain and he got his hybrid pack like why are you still a man baby Caroline was way too good for him and she deserved a good love story she deserved a good guy like Jesse lastly I loved seeing Damon and Rose their bonding moment was really sweet and Matt and Caroline could have been really cute if Matt didn't treat Caroline like a piece of ass I wish she wasn't turned into a vampire so soon so her and Matt could build something but also I feel like her turn into a vampire was a great success for her that is the end of today's video I hope you liked it I hope you watched it all the way through um this is my last in-depth show review I'm done with these guys I enjoyed making this if you like me subscribe if you like this video give it a like comment down below your unpopular opinions your popular opinions tell me what you think about the vampire diaries and i will see you in the next one